Having complete the front gearbox in the previous kit bag, it's time to move our attention to the rear gearbox with bag D. The rear gearbox pretty much follows the same basic principle as the front with only a few subtle differences due to the rear wing mount. But let's crack on and get the rear differential into its new home. As with the front you'll need to keep the thread lock and black grease handy for this bag. As with the front gearbox we begin with the main gearbox housing and insert a bearing to the outside and another on the inside before pushing the pinion gear through from inside out and placing a small shim on the outer side. We have the rear universal drive shaft here complete with a differential coupler attached which we can now seat over the pinion body and lock into place using the set screw with a little thread lock thrown in of course making sure it's nice and tight. Give the coupler a few turns making sure everything is nice and free. Now insert the rear differential constructed in bag B into place. Remember this is the differential with the 10,000 weight oil. With it in place check the fitment making sure it's nice and snug adding the larger shims if needed. Again in my example I don't need the shims in place just yet although as with the front keep them safe in case they are needed once the vehicle is run and worn in a little. With that checked, remove the differential and coat the ring gear with a small amount of grease going all the way round. Again, you don't need to go crazy with the grease here, after which it can be placed back into the rear gearbox. We can then place the gearbox cover on top and secure into place using two of the 14mm cap head screws supplied with the package. At this point, just like we did with the front gearbox, slowly turn the universal drive shaft as well as the differential itself just to get some of that grease spread around the ring and the pinion and to check everything is turning nice and freely. We can then proceed to seal up the gearbox by placing the final plastic cover on the bottom and securing into place using the two 6mm flathead screws, again taking care not to over tighten and strip out any threads. Gearbox now sealed and you can give the differential a faster turn, really making sure it's spinning nice and free. We now need to grab our rear shock tower and you'll notice a lot more customizability here. Although as with the front, unless you're really sure of where you want things, it's best to stick with a stock setup and tune things from there as you get used to driving the truggy. So we'll start again with the shock standoffs, inserting into the stock second hole up and holding in place with a 5mm wrench while we tighten into position using a flanged lock nut on the opposite side. Note we get two sets of lock nuts in this bag we're using the larger of the two for these standoffs. With both secured tightly into place, we'll next install the body mounts to the front side of the shock tower, again one on each side, and these are held in place with a 20mm cap head screw, completing the same for both sides while taking care not to over tighten. Next we'll install the rear wing mount onto the shock tower, there's some customizability here on the shock tower, Although we'll go with the stock centre holes for now, so with the wing mount held in place, we can feed through a 14mm cap head screw before being secured into place using one of the smaller black lock nuts we saw earlier. Installed loosely for the moment in order to provide some wiggle room to insert the remaining three 14mm cap head screws into position. And you can now use lock nuts with each screw and tighten all down securely into place. And with that we're pretty much done with the rear shock tower and it can now be installed onto the rear gearbox. So with the shock tower lined up into position, use the four remaining 14mm cap head screws to secure the tower into place. Again we're going into plastic here so be firm but do not over tighten. And with that said our rear gearbox is complete along with the rear shock tower as well as the rear body and wing mounts. Again everything fits together with perfection. With our front and rear gearboxes now complete, as well as our centre differential, it's time to move on to bag E. So join me in the next video where we'll start assembling more of the rear end. <laughs>